Hello, welcome to our next video podcast. We're going to be working today in some optics. We're going to be talking about curved mirrors and the rules that that govern the light rays that come in and hit the curved mirrors, whether it be a concave mirror, a converging mirror, or a convex mirror, a diverging mirror. Let's go through the different types of mirrors. So right now we have this is a concave mirror because it's caved in. This would be the reflective surface right here. So that's there. And then we have a bunch of terms that relate to this. Let's say this was mounted on a wall, right like this. Okay, and we have this. Then we have this imaginary line that runs from the absolute center of that concave mirror, that converging mirror. And this is known as your principal axis. Or as some of the students like to call it, the axis of evil sometimes. The other key terms we need to know is we need to talk about something called the center of curvature. So what we're saying is if we were to take this concave mirror, if we were to actually make a big huge circle out of it, or it didn't just include where it didn't just include the mirror, but the mirror was extended to make a perfect circle. The absolute center of this object would be called the center of curvature. Now, the more important term that we tend to use, though, is one called the focus. We hear about it a lot of times. We're talking about cameras. We're talking about using video equipment, anything like that. And that is here. It's F. Now, this is half the distance between the center of curvature and this area where it hits the spot where it hits the mirror, which we call the vertex. Okay. Now, if you can notice that the center of curvature is two times as far from the vertex as the focus is. So one of the terms that we tend to use to describe the focus is 2f, or 2 multiplied by f, which will give us the distance from the vertex to the center of curvature. Okay. Now, this is all the terms that we need to know. All we need to know is that the objects that we're going to be talking about are always placed on this side of a concave mirror, whether it be an arrow, whether we make it a candle, whether we make it a triangle, it doesn't matter. Whatever object we're talking about, it's all going to be on this side. And the light rays coming from them are always going to be heading towards the mirror. They might be going in different directions, but that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now let's go through a couple of these rules that correspond to... So, for this converging or this concave mirror. The first rule is... If the light rays are coming in parallel to the principal axis, they are going to be reflected off of that mirror directly through the focus, directly through that special location called the focus. Our second rule that we have to memorize, we have to have these all down pat and know them inside out, is if the rays, if you send a ray through the center of curvature and then it hits the mirror, it's going to reflect back on the exact same it's going to, on the exact same path that it came in on, only, and we always have to remember this, it goes in the opposite direction. So we always have to have our arrows, and there'll be one arrow coming in, one arrow going the opposite direction. Our third rule is that if we send a light ray through the focus itself and it hits the mirror, it's going to reflect off that mirror parallel to that principal axis of evil. So it's just going to be coming out, kind of following it along, following it along and parallel to it. Our last one is, is that if the ray is aimed at the vertex, which is that special spot where the principal axis meets the mirror, all light rays are going to follow the laws of reflection. So the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So whatever angle is coming in, it's going to come out the exact same. Let's look at these rules. Here's the first rule. If we say that we send a light ray parallel to the principal axis. So you see how it's completely parallel to that 
special line right through the middle, it will reflect back through the focus. Now do notice there's an arrow saying the light ray went in towards mirror and there's an arrow going away from the mirror because that's where it reflected through. This is the first rule you have to know. The second rule that we talked about, if we send a light ray straight through that center of curvature, which or 2F, whichever we want to say it, the light ray coming out is going to reflect straight back on itself. But do note that there are two arrows, one coming towards the mirror, one going away from the mirror. Our third rule is that if we send a light ray through the focus, it's going to reflect off of that mirror parallel to the principal axis. And notice this is kind of the reverse of rule one. Rule one, you came in parallel and went through the focus. This one, you go through the focus and you reflect out parallel. The fourth rule that we need to have is if we send a light ray straight at the vertex, which is that point where the principal axis meets the mirror, it's going to follow the laws of reflection. So between the principal axis and this incident ray, that angle is going to be equal to the angle from the principal axis to the reflected ray. It doesn't matter what angle it's coming in on as long as you pull out your protractor and go to work on it. And again, notice arrow coming towards the mirror, arrow going away. Never forget the direction. Direction is so important with physics. Now we have our other, let's go and, and look at our convex mirror now. We're going to look at it a little bit. So if we talk about our diverging or our convex mirror, it's a little bit different. For this one, the reflective surface is bulging out. This is why we call it's convex. And any light rays that hit it are going to diverge. They're going to bounce away. They're going to kind of spread out. Now, so that is this one. Now, the difference between this is now the objects are still on this side of the mirror and their light rays will be coming that direction, down this way or down that way. Those will be the light rays. But the focus, you'll notice, is now on the inside of the mirror. So if we had this mounted on the wall, the focus is actually on the side that we can't see. And the center of curvature is twice the distance. So it's the distance from the vertex to the focus. And then if we double that distance, we get the center curvature there. Okay, so those are the key terms that we need to know. We still have the principal axis going through. And we know that all the light rays are going to be coming this way. Notice that the focus and the center of curvature are always located on the curved inside. The only thing that changes is where the object that we're talking about that's giving the light rays comes from. Okay, let's go on to these rules that we have to do with this. So we're only going to do three rules. There's actually, there's a fourth and I'll discuss it briefly as well too. But the four ones that we want you to know about, if a light ray comes in parallel to this diverging mirror, they're reflected as though the reflected ray had originated from the focus. It can't originate from there because it's inside the mirror, but we can use our arrow, to our ruler, to line it up with the focus. Our second rule is that rays that are aimed directly at the center of curvature are going to reflect straight back on themselves. Again, we can line up a ruler with the center of curvature on the other side of the mirror, but the light rays won't actually get there. Our third rule is the ray aimed at the focus, they're reflected back parallel to the principal axis. Again, this is the incident ray. If we are aiming it directly at the focus, it will reflect back parallel. Now we also have the fourth rule, which again is the same as the one for the converging mirror or the concave mirror. That is if the incident ray hits the vertex, the angle of incident is going to be equal to the angle of reflection but we're not going into that one so much right now. So here's rule number one. So if we send a light ray parallel to the principal axis, notice the focus and the center curvature on the other side of the mirror, then the light ray reflected out, its arrow's pointing out, it's gonna bounce off this way. It reflects out as though the reflected ray had originated from the focus. 
So there, we'll just say, if we line up our ruler, that would be the direction it's going to come out. So it doesn't matter where we come in parallel, the reflected ray is always going to be coming from the focus. Second rule, if we were to send a instant ray directly towards the center of curvature on the other side, the reflected ray will reflect back on itself. Again, two direction arrows, one coming in, one coming out. But we had lined it up with a ruler, so it was aimed directly at the center of curvature, that instant ray, and the reflected ray comes back as though it came from the same spot. Our third rule, if we were to send an instant ray directed straight at the focus on the other side of the mirror, it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. Again, we just use our ruler because the light rays don't actually go to the other side of the mirror because they are bouncing off and reflecting off of that mirror. Okay. Now, let's go back to... Let's go through these rules. So here's, here's the, so we went through all those rules. Those are the rules we're going to use on the next video podcast. The next video podcast is going to be how do we find out where an image is going to be found when we put image, image, uh, objects at certain locations in front of the mirror. So join me for the next video podcast and we'll break this down so we can do some practice on this very important concept.